Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today I'm going to be showing you brand kits inside of Canva. And I've got a couple of tricks and tips that you're going to absolutely love. So if you've seen brand kits before, do stick around because some of these tips and tricks will actually help you with your productivity when it comes to applying your brand kit to your designs inside of Canva and making sure you kind of like using your brand kit actually speeds up your creative process. So let's dive into Canva and take a look. Okay, here's a brand kit that I've actually set up and I'm gonna show you how to set this up from the beginning and make sure you can actually get all the brand colors and the fonts and everything else like that that you want. And also a neat little trick on how to make sure you never lose your brand kit because on here you can just sit, click on these and just delete these because there's no warning at the moment to actually tell you that you are removing those and there's no undo button that you can't undo that now they've been deleted that's it they're gone however i'm going to show you show you some tips and tricks on how you can get around that and make sure you never lose your color codes so here we are we're in canva and on the left hand side it's not the right hand side on the left hand side we're going to come over to brand and you'll notice it does need the pro feature as i just mentioned because it does have the crown there and now you've got an option to put all of your brand kits in here. You can have multiple brand kits in here, which is really cool. Um, but today we're going to create a brand new brand kit. And we're going to call this one Realtor Brand Kit. It's just a demo brand kit that I'm setting up to be able to help you and show you how to set up a brand kit from scratch. Now, the first thing we're going to be asked for on here is to add our logo. Now, if you haven't got a logo already, you can create one inside of Canva. And if you do do that, then I recommend you download it as a, an SVG file. Now, downloading it as an SVG file is going to mean that you can actually then change the colors of your logo. If you don't want to be able to do that, you can just download this as a PNG. That's going to be best for you when you're applying it and then printing it off and things like that later on. But SVG is the best one because then you're going to be able to actually change the colors of it. So I've already downloaded that as an SVG. So I'm just going to come back to the brand kit and over on my other screen, I have got my logo. Let me just click and drag that over and you just drag that on here. Now you can add in here multiple logos. If you do have another logo, I've got a different version. I've got a different color that I downloaded. So you can see here, I've actually downloaded both of these and you can change the name of these. If you wanted to, you just click on the little pen icon and you can just change the name of those if you wanted to. And by having these in here, you're going to be able to quickly and easily add these to any of your templates that you create inside of Canva. Now you'll have noticed that actually adding in those logos, it tried to draw out some of the colors, but I'm going to show you a better trick for actually adding in your colors. Now you could just come in here and apply each of the hex codes if you do know what your hex codes are or your CMYK codes. You can just add those in there for you, but you know, there I'm, I'm going to come in and show you a different option in there in a moment. So I'm just going to click delete on these palettes. So it does give us a warning to delete the palettes and you do always need a default palette on there. So you do need a palette of some kind. Now, let's say you've just got a graphic of your color palette and you're thinking, well, actually I need to be able to have a backup of this. So I'm going to show you what you can do is you can just say you've got that. You can find a template that is just a color palette. This is one that I just found under the design menu just by typing in color palette options under here and just type in color palette. And you can see it's just this first one here that I chose. So we're going to just close that menu and on here we can just then paste in our image so say let's say we want to now take those images or those elements away from that we can just come over click on the item that we want and then use the eyedropper to pick those colors and we can just double check to make sure if it's you know if we've already got the hex code on here we can just double check that and then the next one we can just click and double check that click on the icon click on the next one, click on the, it's the multicolored one you click on, click on the eyedropper and then click on the image. And I'm just going to do these last couple here. 
just to continue showing you for completion all the way to the end we just click on that click on the eyedropper and then click on the icon now now we don't need the image anymore we can just delete that and now we can just come down here and then just apply those so we can see now that we've actually got the right ones in here we can actually just select these uh, from the color palette that's here in the document so there are document colors that we can then just choose from and apply those to that now we can then if we want to if we if these hex codes weren't correct we can come over to the color and we can click on the icon you can see it comes up with a little uh, little drop down menu we can just copy these hex codes over into the text wherever we want them in and you can just paste them in there and then you've got your color palette you can then come back to your color palette and you can then just come down to the graphics option here and if i show you you can just drag in and drag this down into your graphics or your photos and i drag it into photos because this way then you've not got you're not going to lose your color palette you've got that there under your brand kit it's got your color palettes and if you click on the three dots you can always download those you can extract the colors to the color palette but i found sometimes it doesn't quite work some of the colors are not quite right i'm going to click keep on that but we can see if i just click over onto this one we can see this one is a slightly different color it just doesn't pick that color up for some reason so there we go we've got the olive green what color is that one and we can just copy over the hex codes from these and paste them in i'm just going to continue doing that there we go and we've now got our color palettes in there so we've got our color palette on here you can choose to name your color palette and you can change this to main color palette for flyers um, if you wanted to have that uh, palette double t darren okay now if you want to you can also click on the three dots here and you can delete your palette you don't want to do that copy to another brand kit or make a copy i highly suggest making a copy because then you've always got the option to just copy them from down below now also on here you can see you can actually change the name of these so you could change this to ivory if you wanted to but however i prefer to just keep those as the um, hex codes because then it's easy to kind of see on a visual point of view that what the hex codes are and now also as i say because you have downloaded it you do have that color palette in there and you can save also where you've got this color palette i would highly recommend coming over to file save to folder and make sure you save that into your brand folder if you like and have it in there have a folder that you have in there called branding and that's going to help you keep more organized and make sure you don't ever lose those hex codes now the next thing you'll want to do on here is actually add in your brand fonts and this is also going to allow you to actually and quickly apply your brand colors and your brand fonts to any templates with a few simple clicks and i'm going to show you that in a few moments but let's say you're brand new and you don't know what fonts to use you can use canva to recommend some of your fonts so i've just come into a canva doc not to be confused with the Canva design windows and in here we can click on magic right click on the little option here and click on magic right again magic right is a pro feature so do make sure you, you check out that Canva pro option down below now I do have a little prompt that I've got here which is can you recommend some good fonts for realtors I want them to be modern and clean Let's say I left that off there for a second. Um, do, 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 and we click generate. Now that's going to go away and click and create some uh, recommendations for fonts that are in Canva. I really like this feature. It's a really great little uh, feature inside of Canva Docs. And it's probably one of my favorite features of Canva Docs. Okay, so now we've got four. Is it going to recommend a fifth one? Yeah, Roboto. 
Okay, let's say we weren't quite sure about those ones, so we're gonna click stop generating. We're gonna click the little back arrow here, and let's say we wanted that. I want them to be modern and clean, or you wanted to kind of like modify what it is that you wanted to ask. You can then add that in there, click generate, and it's then gonna go away and generate that for you again. There is one other alternative that you can do, and that is to look at any of the templates that are designed for realtors and have a look through the fonts there, because there are certain fonts that look good for different businesses. Okay, now once this is done, we will then be able to just add this to the page. Okay, once that's added to the page, again, come over to file, save that to your folder, save it to your realtor project ideas, and save it to your branding folder. Click save. Now that's actually saved to that folder, so you're not scrambling around trying to find it in the future. Now that we've got our font recommendations, uh, let's say we want to go for a title. We want to go for something like Montserrat. Uh, Montserrat. Okay, and you can see Montserrat, if you click on the little down arrow, it's actually got a lot more a lot more uh, options for Montserrat. So we're going to type in regular, but we want it to be bold. It's a title, so we want it to be bold. And you can say, well, actually, I want this to be for headings, and it will automatically move that down. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Okay, we want subheadings. We want that to also be Montserrat but we want it to be regular without the bold. And let's say we want subheadings to be italicized. Okay, now we've got that and we want our body. What other fonts did we have in there? Roboto, let's just say we choose Roboto for our body. So we can come over here, click on this, type in Roboto. And let's say we we'll just want it to be regular. It's going to be for the main body of text. We want the default text size to be 14. And we're going to click save on that. You can add more font options in here. I tend to find the ones that I want or use most are heading, subheading and body. But it's up to you, however many font options that you want. In a design, never really use any more than two, maximum of three fonts, any more than that. And it just loses any good style now in here you can also add in your branding voice it's if you want to add in here something like that you can do you can also add in any other graphics and icons but apart from that we've now set up our brand kit All right. what do we do now so back on the canva homepage, i'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily add your brand kit and why adding brand kits inside of Canva is one of the best Canva Pro features that I think that you can actually have. Okay, so we're gonna go for Instagram posts and we're gonna have a look for house sale options. Okay, let's say we want to add this one. Okay, we want to add in a page. What other ones should we go for? Do, 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 do. Let's say we want this one and we want uh, do, 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 do this one okay i'm looking for ones where it's going to have colors that can actually change okay and we can choose the view of this one so you can see if you pop down the bottom here you can actually see like little thumbnails of those and if we wanted to we can also add in this one now we can see by clicking on each of these they've all got different colors They've all got different fonts on them, okay? Now, if we come over to design, you can see style. We can actually, over here under style, we can click on the brand kit and we can now choose our realtor brand kit, set, select brand kit, and we can now choose and apply our fonts. I don't know if you noticed that, but it applied the fonts to this page. And we can now click apply to all pages and it'll have applied the fonts where applicable to each of those down below. Now, let me do this with the main color palette. Okay. Now, what you can do with this is you can just keep clicking. Okay. And keep clicking until you find something that you like. Let's say this is the one that you like. And again, if you keep an eye on these pages down here, 
you can click apply to all pages now all of those pages have quickly and easily had that brand kit and those brand colors applied to those designs you can also come over to brand and you can then choose to add in your logo so let's say you've got this logo here and you know i said about adding it as a an, an svg file that is because let's say you wanted to just add this down here it kind of stands out let's say you wanted that to be hidden into the background you can there you go i've just been able to change that now i can change this if i want to so i can change that to green i can change it to white I can change it to any color so that's the reason to have your logo in there as an svg because it allows you to actually brand that over there you might want to add this over onto a um on top of an image and let's say we wanted to do that but this time we want this to be transparent can we do that doesn't seem to be that we can do that i thought we could it'd be really handy if you could just change that to uh, transparent you can add gradients in there if you wanted to so if you wanted to add gradients you can do i'm not a massive fan of the gradient options but that's adding in your brand fonts your brand logos your brand colors and again if you come over to your brand here you've also got all of your photos if you wanted to add in those so if you want to say this was a regular photo of something that you used on a regular basis maybe it's you know the boss's face signature or something like that you can just add that in there and you'd have all your brand graphics and your brand icons or anything else like that in there let's say this was a different font and you wanted it to be something like that different you can come over and if you look here see so you've got your real to brand kit let's say for some reason i wanted to change this to something under a different brand kit i'm going to change it to eyes of adventure and i wanted this to be anton you can see you can switch between brand kits and apply those quite easily so select that brand kit again and you can see down the left hand side here under the real to brand kit you've got montserrat and if I wanted that to be a more a lighter option, I can do that. You can change super thin house for sale. We don't want it to be like that. We want it to be bold. Now to get the most out of brand kits, you are going to want to have a Canva Pro account. And there is a trial of Canva Pro down in the description below. So do check that out. That's brand kits inside of Canva. And if you've got any questions when it comes to setting up your brand kit inside of Canva, if you want to jump on a call with me or anything else like that, you can do uh, that, all the that options over on my website. Uh, drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions on brand kits. Until next time, though, thank you very much and bye for now.